One of the most powerful um, forms of charity on the planet Earth is Sadako Jariya. If you want to translate it into English, Sadako Jariya would mean a beneficial legacy. Something that you leave that other people benefit from after you're gone. When I listen to the news and look on the internet over the last several, quite a few years, and I see famous people who passed away, the first question that comes to my mind is what legacy did they leave outside of their field? Outside of their profession, what did they leave? If a person was a singer, I ask myself, did they leave anything other than a song? If a person was a comedian, I ask myself, did they leave anything other than a joke? If a person was a, a businessman, I ask myself, did they leave anything other than money? And so, but, but when, you, when you meet people, and I knew Muhammad Ali, may Allah forgive him his sins and give him paradise, very personally. I was assigned to his personal security for a short period of time in the 80s, and, and he knew me, um, and, and I knew a couple of members of his family, a couple of his children uh, I'm friendly with. But Muhammad Ali um, left a, a very beneficial legacy. And, it, and, and I don't know how many people accepted Islam because of him, but I know a whole lot of people benefited from the love he had for humanity. And, and, I, and I think not only benefited because of the love that he had for humanity, but they benefited because internally, m many people begin to realize that they need to do more to help humanity. And, they were in, and many people were inspired by Muhammad Ali to do more to help humanity. Many celebrities uh, begin to learn from him to use their celebrity status to influence assistance for people who, who needed people. So there are many people who are not Muslim, many people who are Christians, some people were Buddhists, and many other religions who were still influenced by Muhammad Ali to use their celebrity status to influence help for, for humanity. And that, I believe, is a, is a very beneficial legacy that he left. I'm not sure how many people accepted Islam because of him, but I am very, very sure uh, because I talked to him personally. I had personal uh, friendship with him, and I know for a fact that he always thought about the people, especially the children. When I was, when I was assigned to his security, and I was trying to keep everybody away from him because I was responsible for crowd control, he would push me out of the way, to the, I mean painfully, because he was big and strong, push me out of the way if I tried to stop little children from getting to him because he loved the children and he loved people of all races, black, white, brown, red. He didn't care if they were human beings, especially if they were children. He loved them and he wanted to do what's best for them and he wanted to influence them and inspire them to do better. I've heard him talk to groups of children. I've seen Muhammad Ali, I was standing right next to him as he addressed little children that were participants in a, in a Muhammad Ali road race in Pennsylvania and listen to what he said to those children. He would tell them, get your education and don't think that, that all you have to think about is sports. He said, he said I got blessed to be, a, to be a good boxer, but that only put me in a position to tell you what I'm telling you now. So I believe that the, the beneficial legacy that Muhammad Ali left is probably the most valuable thing that he left even bigger than his success inside the ring.